education no one can steal from you. You know, we are living in an area here in Lokichoga where raiding is very common. So they can steal the cattle, they can steal other things, but education they cannot take from these people. And uh, this project, you know, it's not just one person. Uh, there are so many persons involved uh, for uh, coming this far. And I will say that we, we give glory to God because He is the coordinator. He, had, he has put things together in a miraculous way. And I can just thank God for it. But we know that there are also hard work behind it. Teachers, parents, uh, community members who have been here supporting this project. And uh, also, of course, me and my husband, we have also worked hard. And we have been motivated by that we come from a society where we are blessed in so many ways. And we, we also need to give back to God what He has blessed us with. And that's why I'm so proud to hear the students here saying that they also want to come back and bless other people what, which, what God has given them. And I think that's the way we should be, to, to give back and to, to serve God in any way we can. I scored 401 marks. I started from the tree. There, first of all, we were to carry water so that we can get lunch. Most of the times, there was wind. It was wind. So when it, so when it comes, it, it takes our, our skins. And we had no lunch to cook. So, sometimes it was windy and there was no time to put on the fire. So we were to go lunch without ending in our stomach. That's First of all, when it was, it was windy, some sponsors from Sweden came across our, our tree over there. When they come across, they look at us and take many cameras. Then they took to Sweden and told they took to Sweden and told small kids there to bring money and help us. So a life changed and we and we saw the school built up the up up the island village. Now we are happy we have water, food. There's no wind it's not windy as that swept the boat, uh, boats. Thanks.